Hi, welcome back to the full stack development with Angular and Spring MVC. In the previous video, we have called the service method and display the records in a console. In this video, we are going to display the records in a HTML table. Inside the book.component.html, just below the heading tag, I will create a div tag. Inside the div, I will create a HTML table. I am going to create a row and I'm going to create a four columns. The first column is for ID and the second column is for title and the third column is for author and the fourth column is for actions. And I'm going to create a one more row inside this we we'll create, create a table descriptions inside the book.component.ts we have created this books variable and here we are initializing that books so i'm going to use this books in this component.html and i'm going to use a ng for loop to iterate over the books so inside the tr or the table row i will use ng for loop star ng for and I'm going to use let keyword to create a variable let book of books. This books is coming from book.component.ts, which is this. The ng for loop will iterate over these list of books, and every time when it is loop over this list of books, it will keep it in this book variable, and we're going to access the properties which is id, title, author through this variable so i'm going to use angular data binding within the two curly braces i'm going to use book dot id to access the id i'm going to use book dot title to access the title i'm going to use book dot author to access the author right now i'm not going to write a code for edit and delete i will just write a text edit and delete later we will make use of these edit and delete i'm going to specify a border to this table border is equal to one save this in the browser you can expect the html table with the records so these are the records we are getting from database in the database you can see that we have these three records chetan bhagat ravinder singh guru prasad so the ng for loop will iterate over these list of books and every time when it is iterate it will keep the book object in this variable and we are going to access the id title author through this variable in the next video we are going to make a http post request that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video